of the major challenge we have in the body of Christ, give me sound. One of the major challenge we have in the body of Christ is that people want to get God, wants to serve God at their own terms and conditions. No, once a man gives you a platform, he operates what the terms and condition. That's why when you choose to use MTN, any of their app and whatever it is, they tell you terms and condition what apply. As long as you are the one coming to seek that source, you have to follow its lay down terms and condition. But we come to God, we say, Oh Lord, I give you my life, I am now born again, and still wants to serve Him at our term and condition. That's why I tell people, listen, you can choose your God, but you don't choose the way you serve Him. Why? In every kingdom, there is a culture. There is a way of behavior. There is a way of life. There, there are laid down principles. There are how everyone is expected to behave. Are we together? Once you now say you are part of that kingdom, the next thing you must begin to learn is the culture that governs such kingdom. Because that's how people there survive. Are we following? For instance, the American behaves in a certain way. The Africans behave in a certain way because of what? Cultural differences. So you can't give your life to Christ and still be living your life the way you want. You must begin to learn what exactly he wants. That's what we simply call alignment. How closely are you to standard? How closely are you to divine format? That's it. The more you get close to resemble the laid down principle, then we say the more you are aligned. It's not too high, like people say it in the spirit, and you are in one realm and say, I am in alignment. But no, it's how much your life is resembling the kingdom you now claim you belong to. Are we following? So, one of the things we do in scriptures is not to begin to search for scriptural verses to quote, not to put information in our head, but to master and learn what the culture of the kingdom we now belong to. That's the only way we can have full dividend of the kingdom. Now hear me. The Bible says in John 1 12, he said, To as many that receive him, he gave them power to what? Become. The word become is a process process. He didn't say he made them sons. No. Young man, you are not a son yet. He only gave you power to what? Become. You just started a journey. That's why you find out that you are not part of that kingdom. Yet there are certain things you still cannot do. There are certain realities you still cannot command. Why? You now need to learn the culture of that kingdom to be able to handle those things. So it's not as if the Bible lies. You are growing into sonship. You are not son. And only sons have the ability to move things in the kingdom. The Bible speaking in Galatians chapter 4 from verse 1. Is he an heir? As long as he, be, he is a child, he's not better than what? A servant. Yet he's kept under lots and what? Governors till the time appointed though everything belongs to him they won't allow him to touch it that's why you want the miracles you are not yet seeing it you want the dimensions you say lord i want to prove to this world that i carry you the more you say it the more it seems like god is farther away because what you did was you believe him he gave you the power to become some which you are not exploiting by learning what the culture the behavioral patterns of the kingdom are we together? Mark 135 quickly. Only you can satisfy me. Only you can satisfy my soul. Now, the Bible says, And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place. And there, what? Prayed. Give me this verse. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. This was his culture. This was a behavior. Before the dawning of a day, he maintained it all his life. Give me Luke 6 12 quickly. The Bible says, And it came to pass in those days that he went into the mountain to pray and continued what? all night in prayer. We are seeing a constant behavior. One culture he had. Are we following? Give me Luke 21 37 quickly. And in the daytime, he went teaching in the temple. And at night, he went where? To the Mount of Olives. This was his lifestyle. In the daytime, you see him everywhere. Bouncing, teaching. But in the nighttime, 
he went to where the mountain give me matthew 14 23 quickly i want us to begin to see a beautiful pattern in the life of jesus and after he had sent the multitudes away he went up into the mountain what apart to what pray so one of the culture of the kingdom that we see in jesus that the church must restore back again is the culture of the secret place the problem is that we are too busy a generation that we no longer have time we set apart to commune with god that's why the faint thing that's why we begin to manifest attitudes and characters that we cannot believe ourselves the one that jesus said in luke 18 verse 1 he said pray always else you what you faint you start doing things you can't believe yourself that's how i know that i need to withdraw again anytime i find out that i easily get angry over nothing are we together just a little thing i'm angry i know that no something is wrong i need to rush back to the secret place you must fight for time if you are too busy to have time with god you are too busy that god wants you to be and that level you're busy is simply being under satan's yoke is a strategy he brings activities your way to make sure you can't see, see the time separate time to be alone with god those are the most treasurable moments of your life the beauty of any man's life is the beauty of his secret place are we together the beauty of any man's life is the beauty of what his secret place give me first timothy 4 7 quickly ancient words ever true changing me now but pro refuse profane and old wife fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness what is godliness god living in a man the bible speaking is is the first timothy 3 16 check that scripture for me he said and this is the mystery of godliness that god was made flesh a mortal man religion is man trying to be like god christianity is god living through a man it is it is him in him we move we live and we have our being are we together so one of the way you bring out that reality that you have gotten in the kingdom is that you must what exercise yourself it's not a suggestion if you want to see godliness coming out of you god living in a mortal man you must be willing to exercise yourself the way breathing is to you that's how moments with god is to the sustenance of a man's christian race i know it oh jesus i know it i know it i know it you stay there with him you find out that even your thoughts are purified your reasoning is purified when you stay so much with egos overnight when you come out where as you are coming from you will smell it when you have too much around the world you will carry their noise and their way of reasoning and thinking never you get to a point that you are too high and lifted up to find time to fellowship with god any river that forgets its source we go dry it's a kingdom culture that's why i read all those scriptures for you to see it it's the culture of the kingdom that men must seclude time to be alone with god it's not whether you are free or not no you must seclude time give me Acts 13 and verse 2 verse 1 said in that day they were prophets and named the rest of the whole of them verse 2 said as they were ministering to god in prayers and in fasting the holy ghost spoke his voice was sifter nothing sifter voices like prayers there's so much noise that's why you are confused something's ringing in my head why won't it ring there are too much of information on your head where you sifter voices is in the place of prayer what breathing is to a man the secret place is to the spiritual man how can you survive if oxygen is taken away from you and where do you get this oxygen the day you ever think you will survive outside of god that's the day you begin to die you experience death you experience death rise up let's pray one prayer lord refire my altar refire my secret place can you raise your voice and pray one minute quickly 
of your life will begin to change that's why i like that song it's away away from the noise sometimes you must get away from people to hear god are we following he won't speak in the midst of your noise he will rather speak in a still small voice that requires your absolute sensitivity and quietness the bible says in stillness and in quietness shall thy strength be made known how will you run, run through life part time so that you are not inspired at all you don't see any visions for life i'm not talking about giving prophetic word like i do no god revealing things to you about your life about the things you encounter in each day something is wrong is there is there Isaiah 50 verse, verse 4. I'm not so sure of that. He said, He awakened me morning by morning and teaches me to know. That means there is no passing day without a revelation from heaven. He awakened me what? Morning by morning. Your problem is even in awakening, you are still sleeping. You are sleeping. See, the Muslims have stipulated time. They rise up each morning and they wake up by 4. Even when they go to classes or they go to any business schedule, once it's four o'clock, that young man wakes up, heading to the mosque, not his house. What did I say again? Not his house. He's looking for the mosque to go pray. And then you wake up by nine o'clock. Say, my father owns the land. My Jesus owns the land. Something's wrong with you. Are we together? It's not a suggestion. I came to challenge your heart. It's a culture we must revive. Are we following? It's a culture. Spend moments with God and be shocked at the kind of inspiration your life will begin to produce. How come? Everywhere you get to, people reject you. That brings me to the first beauty of the secret place. You carry an irresistible atmosphere. Every man of prayer that I know, every man that understands the secret place carries an irresistible atmosphere. Why? He is carrying God from place to place. They can't reject God, so they can't reject him. I have never entered an office and I was asked to get out. No. Acts 4.13. He said, and they took notice of them that they had been with Christ. They took notice of them. An atmosphere that attracts favor, attracts the right people. Now hear me, I've always told you, atmospheres are contagious. Atmospheres are what? Contagious. So you will invariably carry the kind of atmosphere you spend much time with. No, impossible that I will speak to any man in a month more than the hours I give to God. Impossible. He said, Papa, we used to see you in the daytime in your office. Fine, plan your schedule. <laughs> Plan your schedule. Are we together? When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is what? Inevitable. When you know you need it for survival, no one will tell you to pray. It's because you were taught as if it's what? A Christian duty. No. You are exercising yourself what? Unto godliness. Christian doctrine, not backed up with adequate Christian discipline, will yield no results. I can pour the rema upon you now. Give you all the light and what you need. Without daily Christian discipline like your devotion life, fasting life, prayer life, studying of the word, it will produce nothing. You will be struggling to fulfill the requirements of those scriptures. You can't. Because on your own, you can't. If you want to tear your flesh, you try. The flesh will prove you to you how difficult it will be. 
that's why you make decisions i won't do this again and find that you could not fulfill them no the supply of strength comes from within the configuration in man is that he naturally disobeys anything from the external that's why god made the error in genesis he forgot that in chapter one he had told man have dominion over everything on the earth over every walks of the field the fishes and the rest of them and then in chapter two he made the man and then after a few years he now brought a stone he told the man to have dominion to tell him what to do the man naturally rebelled so he thought of something he said if this thing is supplied from within then there is no problem i will now build what them into lively stones tablets in their heart such that no man will now teach them what to do it will come from within i will put my spirit in them little wonder in the triumphant of jesus to jerusalem they were shouting no they shouldn't call him they shouldn't praise him he said if you don't let this one praise me stones he wasn't talking about physical stone but a new breed of people that will carry the holy ghost in the inside of them first peter 2 now tells us we are lively stones built into a spiritual house so the supply comes from within even as a preacher i have attended certain things i won't do this again i couldn't it took me to lock up myself to look for what inner strength no wonder paul knew this ephesians 3 16 he said that thou may be strengthened with mind in the inner man that's where it comes from i want to read you are sleeping anyhow there is no supply of internal strength some of you you even put the phone and a loud buzzer on your head so it will wake you like this you are surprised in the morning that you disappointed yourself it's inner strength sometimes my children will ask me you know what it is to pray continuously for seven days you were with me they saw me we stay together continuously ah, try it no it's the supply of energy from within there is something that makes me do it and I don't feel like I'm doing anything. There's an energy from the inside. Are we together? That's why there is so much disappointment. People are disappointed at God. They make it look like the Christianity is not working. Everybody is now jumping into lagoon. Thank God there is no river here. We'll have any of cases. Because it looks like God is not working again. You know why? We turn the church into a market square. Where people come to buy goods. When they need miracle, we sell. We didn't teach them the Christian disciplines. That there is a culture a man must imbibe to get sustained in his Christian race. And that culture is what? Exercising yourself in the secret place unto what? Godliness. I fast not because I was looking for certain things. No, just to put the body what? Under subjection. Paul said, I don't fight like one. First John and First Corinthians 9:24. I don't fight like one beating the air. I can't say I, I want God and I'm doing something that doesn't look like I'm pursuing him. I put my body under subjection. Get back your secret altar. Now hear me and hear me. In every city, there is no revival. In every human life, there is no revival. The proof is one: there are broken altars. That's why when Elijah appeared before the scene, the first thing he did to get a nation back to God was first to rebuild the altar. Because even if he gets them back to God without the altar rebuilt, how would they sustain the relationship? That leads me to part two. Number two, communication breeds intimacy. So the beauty of your secret place is that it breeds what? Intimacy. That's why you find out that that girl you're always working with, talking together, you're now beginning to like her. No, that's what communication does. It breeds intimacy. No wonder in John 11, Jesus could stand before the grave of Lazarus and say, Father, thank you for you always hear me. That means he always prays. See, for you always hear me. I told you that was what built my prayer life. I heard my Bible study teacher saying that in the Thursday Bible study in church. He said, and Jesus prayed that thank you for you always hear me. It means that if you always hear me, you used to pray all the time. Ah! I said, I make a vow from today. I will make my voice familiar to heaven. Such that when I speak, it won't take time to get answers. It won't be a strange voice. There are men, when they talk, heaven moves. That's what drew me into the place of prayer. 
just to make sure he has heard my voice so much and so much and so much. One day Jesus appeared to me and said, from today, you are my sweetheart. I told you that's why I don't call my wife that name. I can't. Because that's the name he calls me. So much. It breathes intimacy. He will love you. You know one thing I found out about God? You know one of the characteristics of the Godhead is what we call the femininity of God. Most of his characteristics are attached to the feminine dimension. Are we together? That's why you see in Proverbs chapter 8, the book of wisdom, you see the Bible talking about wisdom and using ah. She builded her house. She does this. Same thing with the other, or some of the other spirits and angels we see in scriptures. Now, one thing I know about the feminine gender is that he likes attention. And I know how to give it to him. He likes attention. He likes it. That's why in this morning he will shout, Israel, you are far away from me. He likes attention. How much are you willing to give him? You know the beauty of God is, if you have audience with God, you have audience with any man. Audience with God is audience with any man on this earth. The beauty of the secret place. I came to awaken you heart today. To revive this culture of the kingdom. How will you wake up in the morning and not find moments for God? To talk to him, to pray. It's an insult. It's the highest prayerlessness. is the highest form of arrogance. The Bible is speaking in Proverbs 3 and verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean on and on and stand in all thy way. Acknowledge him. And then you disacknowledge him. That's arrogance. Imagine waking up in the morning and not greeting your father good morning. It's insultive. For that alone, I can't try such a thing. Impossible. Right on my bed, I stand before the God who called me. The first statement I make by standing up. Thank you, Jesus. Not to pick my phone and check the message my girlfriend left for me. No. You think I'm happy? That everybody keep coming to the office and there's these issues? Something I know that a walk with God, a correct one, can solve naturally. Oh, we must begin to get the Christian faith to the right track. Recover the culture of the kingdom. That's what makes men sons inside the kingdom. Else, they are else, but they are still what? Child. So they can shift things. They can exert dominion. They can command things in their favor. They are still children. Number three, the third beauty of the secret place is that you have power with God. You have what? Power with God. The times we are, at the times of the battles of thrones what is happening upon the earth right now is a clash of power oh to god be all the glory for the things we are seeing it was foretold now if you are seeing the way corona is killing people in different nations right now in iran the vice president already has it deputy health minister already has it who will kill the others but you remember what he said ah a guy too is it six to seven i will shake the nations once again and the desires of nations shall come to me it's a strategy gets to a point where you can't survive but you need him all our financial prison you will work it the money will fail you i remember a wealthy man that was sick flown everywhere and he looked at dollars he said he didn't know that there is something money cannot do there is prayer is not everything but it changes everything <laughs> prayer is not everything it changes what everything both your finance both your academics both your health it changes everything how can you say you are a man of prayer and be struggling financially no the bible says the holy ghost will show you what all things including how to prosper stop making people separate prosperity from the bible no we are there financial teachers in the days of job who was teaching them business school how comes he became the richest man in the east in the east and even after his worst fall he came back and the bible says he became the richest man on the earth how comes who gave jacob the secret on of how to make the sheep be construct who gave him can you manipulate such kind of technology by just putting stripes on stick and you are producing wealth in business we struck too much I've told you, if you want to follow the world by their principle, they will beat you. Because you are in this world, but no longer part of it. You play by a different set of rules. You must know that. 
So one thing the beauty, the, the secret place does to you is to give you all power with God. Now hear me. For instance, right here, right now, there are AIT, CNN, BBC, NTA. Is that not so? Are you seeing it? No, you put what we call a receiver via your TV or whatever to trap the network to your direction. That's why the Bible now speaking in James 5 16 that the effectual, fervent, continued, heartfelt prayer of the righteous man make that kind of power available. Not that there was no power, but it was not available to do work. I am not powerful than you, I just have available power. You have power, but it's not available to work. It's not. So as you pray, you are making the power what available. Now the Bible is speaking in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. He said that when you receive power, and the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, right? You shall receive power. The word power, there's a word dynamis. It's gotten from the root word dynamo. It simply means inherent power, resident power. That's why you still couldn't do some stuff even after you were filled with the Holy Ghost. You touched the sick person, the person was not healed. You were surprised. You are still okay. Because that power is what? Resident. Then the power in James 5, 16 that says you make available is called what? Is cause. It means generated power. How many of you rode bicycle when you were small? Remember that dynamo you put at the tire? How does it produce the light? As you begin to turn it. That's what you do in the secret place. You make power available for the day. Power. Only a foolish man walks into a brand new day normal. Each day needs their own renewal. Even his messes, the Bible said they are new every day. How much you are the same? How come? If his messes has to be renewed by the day, how come everything about you is the same each day? No! You must make power for that day. Available. Get your secret place back together. We are looking for revival. It won't come except broken altars. I rebelled. That's what he said. That's why I'm teaching this. He said, son, begin to teach them the culture. They've learned on the realm seven keys to the supernatural, seven ladder to reach heaven, seven padlocks that opens the gates of the of the of the heavens. Don't worry. These padlocks are very heavy for you right now to carry. Let's learn culture. Let's learn behavioral patterns that produces results tremendous power available that's the secret Luke 21 to 7 right he said day by day he was what teaching in the night he goes to what commune on the mount of olives that was his favorite mountain when he was on earth the mount of olives we signify what the anointing he goes to interact with the anointing then you see him come through the day in two seconds blind eyes open deaf ears beyond shop this I was a guy what is happening and he said to them, this type cannot go out except by prayer. Except you have exercised yourself unto godliness such that it's no longer flesh coming out of you. But once you speak, they are spirits. So men are walking spirits on the earth. They are spirits and their life. I trust God to get to a point I have built my spirit so that I can, I can switch at will. The Bible says one time he was at the top of a cliff. They wanted to throw him up. And he slipped through them. He just switched back to divinity. Spirits can walk through people. He just changed. Are we together? Finally for tonight. The sixth reason. Beauty of the secret place. Is that you access divine secrets and strategies. One of God's servant was speaking. Prophet Hubert Angel. He said everything you see I and my sons and ministry has become. We got them. In the place of prayer. He said the business tycoon you call us. Whatever we become. The strategies. The wisdom. We are gotten from the place of prayer. That's my secret too. The place of prayer. Sometimes they come as just sanctified thoughts. Sanctified imaginations. In the place of prayer. Secrets and strategies. Are revealed. Secrets and strategies. Acts 13 verse 2 I read for you. It says they were ministering to the Lord. The Lord what? Spoke to them. Separate from me. Paul and Barnabas. Why are you jumping every you asking what's your purpose? They will soon confuse you. You will become an avalist. Don't worry. They will confuse you. Are we together? Master that act. Learn to talk to God. I made a decision some few years ago when I gave my life to Christ. 
I say, Lord, I will learn to talk to you first before I share anything to anyone. Do I explain certain things to people? Do I share my issues and problems with them? Yes. But he must have heard first. If he doesn't help me, no man can help me. Hear first. These are disciplines you imbibe. Cultures you force yourself to adopt. It's like when you come into the kingdom, you are doing course reg. No, so you do for this school. Course reg. You say, I will do these courses. That's how it is. You begin to take those courses by force. Not that I say, I'm struggling now, waking up. I'm struggling now, waking up. Something is wrong. See, the times we are in, including the world itself, is naturally composed not to make you survive easily. So stop thinking it's the weather. Is, that's why he's called the priest of the air. He has the ability to manipulate the weather. To make rain and sun shine at the same time. To make heat and cold. You know the kind of breeze you have been feeling for some few days. Blowing, you are seeing air everywhere is moving. <sighs> but it's fun. It's hot. Heat, hot air. You don't know whether you are close to Sarah or somewhere else. He can manipulate it to your disfavor. You choose to create your own atmosphere. Are we together? Rise up to your feet. The beauty of the secret place. That's where wars are won. That's where battles, victories are won. On my knees. <laughs> Remember, was it last year that an abalist called me? Remember the story? Did, did we see vision? We are living our life. And he carried his own. He said, come. Some people brought work for you, for me to do from Musuka. That I should kill you. And you are scattering the whole of our family. I asked him, why did you not call me? He said, I just want to tell you. You know, it's fear. That whether you think you can stop us, we'll do our work. I said, thank you very much for your call. I appreciate it. Let's do the work together. You think you are the one doing work? If which is the craft, the other craft. If you think you are a chief priest, there's a high priest. If you think you can make decrees, we make decrees. If you think you can kill, kill animals and drink blood where there is communion, you do, I do. Everything the demonic world operates, the kingdom has an answer for it. You can't threaten me. You can't. One of my papa was saying something a few days to us. He said, somebody tell you, you will see. Be happy. Would you want to be blind? Then tell him you will blind. Why? But only men that have cooked themselves in the secret can speak like that. He said one time, some time ago, when they were still working with Bishop, I'm um, Bishop Ben Sida was in the university setup, they were inspecting the place. Some young men came with guns, heavy guns. And they said, We are here. Him and three other ministers, and they were standing. He said, We are here to kill you. He said, Look at them, small boys, wait for me. And he continued inspecting. So when he was done, he thought, We are the boys. They were coming, he was coming, men with guns. He said, As I count three, your bullets will begin to melt. In the next three countings, you will run mad. The guy started begging, Nascend and send us. Nascend. Why? The clash of powers. Anything that succeeds over you is just powerful than you. The Bible says, A strong man will go keep his goods what? Intact. Except one stronger than him comes and disband him of his goods is the clash of strength no wonder the bible says if you fail in the days of adversity your strength is small something you could not control yourself no you could it because your strength was small are we together your strength was small let's prepare for what is ahead we need to begin to romance more with the one that created us and collect more of his atmosphere upon our being that we carry him from place to place that the appearance of you in the place is as God has appearing. Do you know how I go to places? I step into a place. I say, solution has come. One time I went to see someone in Joss. I entered into the room. I didn't pray. I stayed. And suddenly, from, I was in the boys' quarters. From the other room, I was sleeping. And I heard a shout of the child. Ah, shouting and screaming. And they said to me, I said, why is that boy shouting like that? He said, that's how he shouts every night. See, the parents will come and stay with him again. I said, I am here now. Satan, your time is up. Pack. Two kings does not stay in one palace. Pack. Till date. That's the end of such experience. The Bible says where the word of a king is. Ecclesiastes 8.4. There is power. How comes your work in the world is not carrying power? Why? Remember, the Bible says we are royal what? Priesthood. So we occupy two offices at the same time. In olden days, they were not privileged. You have to be a king and have a prophet attached to you. But right now we are both. Just like Jesus, we go inside there. Seven days now locked in there. And I come and somebody is threatening me. Pack well. You think it's every person you can threaten? Pack well. The 
there are people I don't even give attention because I only increase your relevance. Why? The secret place where men are made. That's the true place men are made. Not in the open shouting and doing, no, I am giving you my secret life. One time I was listening to Pastor Chris Yaculo, we were watching the videos in a 12 hours retreat. He would teach the word and they would pray. I followed that man at the age of seven. That's when I started following him. He would teach the word, they would pray. Then when it was the ending part, I think around 6 p.m., he said, beyond all we have done today, let me show you the secrets of who I am. Then he raised up his leg. The knees are black. Thick black. He said, this is the secret to the ministry. I have paid my price. Pay your own. I was watching a man. I, I couldn't understand the kind of realms and dimension he's operating in. The kind of work God is doing with him. And he was sharing his story. He came out from the Mountain of Fire Church. He said, open my knees. He caught somebody. Come and talk. Come and touch. Like the knees of a horse. And you are just flamboyant around. And you are speaking empty words. Something. Just say, I am covered by the blood of John. Really? You think that's how it works? The word must carry power attached to it. So that you get to a point you don't even need to speak. Your presence is a message in an atmosphere. There are some things, see, hear me. Some of you have called me and shared some kind of terrible issues to me. And the only statement you hear me say is, don't worry now, I'm aware. I don't pray. Even in his kingdom, he knows who have something. That's the only thing I say. Now I am aware. Watch, the devil run. He knows if I give him attention. I have endurance. It's not this your two days prayer. He say, Papa, this is not still moving. No. When I enter into prayer, I used to tell the devil, between me and you, we'll see who stops first. We'll see who gives up. So he knows I can weary him out with prayers. So I just tell them, don't worry, now I have what? Head. Immediately, you are seeing testimonies. I didn't pray. I didn't pray. That's what the apostles were trying to do, to attempt what they saw him doing in the open. And the girl was there disgracing them. He said, no. Funny enough, do you know what the Bible says? And Jesus just coming down from the mountain, met them in that scene. He said, no, this is not how this thing comes. This is not how this thing comes. That God will raise a people in this day, day and time that he will be confident that he still has on it. Are we following? People who will take charge of territories and environment. People who will take charge of a complete city that he still has them on earth. I beg you, go back tonight. Recandle your secret place. Revive your prayer altar such that there, is, there should be nothing you share to any man first without sharing it first to God. There is nothing I don't pray about. I'm telling you the truth. Nothing. Sometimes, one time I needed about one point something million. And I went to the secret place. I said, Father, I need this money. What I had about then in my account was about, I think, either 200 or 100 or something thousand. And I needed a millionaire for something very urgent. I said, Lord, please help me. I need this money. I am a giver. I mean, I was praying. And one of the morning, he said, Son, you want a million? Empty your account for me. What you have in your hand that cannot do what you want to do is a seed for what you want. It's one coin you plant that gives you a bunch. I said, Father, is that all? I carried it. <laughs> I stand before God. In less than three days, more than a million entered my account. Where did I get the strategy from? The secret place. The secret place. Now you, you are frustrated looking as if they forced you to do Christianity. Because you are neglecting its culture on how to talk to God. Even a man that they came to give a news of death, was he afraid? Was he complaining to everybody? The Bible says he left the prophet and turned back. And said, I have a room where I talk to somebody higher. And God said, go back. Tell him you will not die again. But you don't have it as a culture. So that's not the first person you turn to in the times of tribulation or problem or trials. Or when you need direction or clarity for your life. You think something else. Are we following Revive your secret place. You want to succeed in your academies? That's where you settle it. Settle it. Settle it. As a culture, while I was still in this campus, one hour every night, then we have the world called the prayer street. I go there, only pray for my academics. Lord, I have carried your name on my head. May I not know shame over this matter. The result of any man you see in the open, as a result of what he has done in the secret. You know why? God said, when I see you in secret praying, I will reward you openly. That's how it works. Lift up your hands and pray. And say, tonight, Lord, fresh fire, burning coals, red 
hot flame release upon my altar. Revive and rekindle my secret place again, O oh God. Revive and rekindle my secret place again, O oh God. No, 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 no. See, this is where the way I want you to pray. Hold the hands two by two and make sure the person you are holding is praying. Lord, rekindle my altar, set fire upon my secret place, kill every lukewarmness, set fire. There can be a revival if broken altars are not rebuilt. Shayada Baragada Basaya Dariakatu Roda Baba Yada Belegedaya Gadata Ella Bosatas Gaidi Rada Dada Dayaga Bobo Yatiadas Rebeke de Belege Belegedaitu Aro Basa Teagadas Roda Baba Yada Belegedes Rada Dada Yaga Vada Yaga Balagadi Roda Baba Yagedes Allo Zaya Kata Legedes Skaya lagadus, leba bara das komia naga lagadus. Iya gala bada bara bada bala gada bada bara gada bada bala na. Fresh fire, 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 fresh fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Hold the hands of someone else. Let's pray this prayer finally. Now hear me. Your Christianity is first known in the secret place. Your Christianity is first known where? Now listen, listen. In the secret place. As far as I am concerned by the vantage point of the scriptures of God, whatever you do in the open without a valid secret place is useless. You can't vouch that you have spent time with God and pray over a matter and see result, and you are shouting everywhere. Maybe because you are an official of a fellowship. Something is wrong with you. You better get real with your work in your work with God. That's where you first prove the sincerity of your Christianity. You test whether your Christian work is valid. I, I, no, I told you some few years ago. I asked a young man, help them, please. I asked a young man, if I ask you why you believe in Jesus, what will you say? That the pastor said so, or because you read a book, and the Muslims not reading books too. The proof I told him for me is that I have spoken to this God over situations, and I see him respond. So I know there is a God that exists. Be sincere. What is your proof? If they say leave all this story, all this talk and quoting scripture, prove to us today that there is a God in heaven. What will you say? The firmament declares glory. You are talking Bible. For you, what is your personal proof? What is your personal revelation? What do you know that you can tell somebody, I am convinced <laughs> <of> <laughs>
Ja, voll und gar! Genau das wie Pilz der Neid! Listen, people of God, I stand before God to tell you the truth. If you can go back and build back your broken altars, you will see the way the quality of your life will begin to change. All the secrets and strategies for life I have are gotten on that place. All the victories you have seen won, the testimonies you have heard, whatever you know, are gotten from my secret place. That's all I know how to do, how to separate time where I stay alone with him. Everything is settled there. Everything. I told you, one of the things that sparked me up while I was in the campus was my second year, 200 level. I wrote a course. I ticked all the answers completely. It was the most difficult course in our time. You, you, when you pass A, you are in heaven. First, the test, I got zero over 40. Went to the hall, knew nothing to write. But like those that knew was where between the campus, they, they would just say, go and do what you used to do. So I know what I do best. I went back and said, Lord, I have carried your name on my head. Lord, please, may I not know shame. Look upon me with your mercy. Show me your glory in this course. I stand under God, the whole of engineering with a zero over 40. We had two that got it A. So I enter school the next day. Everyone said, It's the one. It's the one. 
That's how I became popular in the campus. It's the one. It's the one. It's the one. Victories are won in the secret place. Strategies are won there. Anything you want to do, go back there. I told you the story, I think, last week of a young man that applied for a job. Listen, listen. He applied for a job and learned this art. There is nothing when I'm applying for something, a job, I go back to settle it there. Not that I just throw application from that's all. He prayed, I think, 10 days. Was fasting to 12 noon over one job. 10 days. And when he was done, he went for the interview. People were coming with government letters, senators' letters, and the rest of them. Immediately entered, they asked him, From far, which person do you come with? He said, Nobody. Something manipulated, we call it prophetic manipulation. Manipulated the chairman. He says, My candidate, come. Only him got the job. I stand before God. One time, one of my daughter, she was complaining to me, saying, My brother don't have a job. I said, Okay, let's pray about it. We were pressing, we were pressing. One day we met together, we joined faith, we prayed. They called the guy for a job in Shell. He did not apply. He got the job. I stand before God. No form submitted. He got the job. One of my friends called me, said, His sister, she read nothing. She has been jobless for 13 years. I said, Really? Okay, let's be praying. We went to the secret place every time we pray together. Lord, show us something. And God said, give her the job. I said, Lord, I'm confused. What do I do? He said, give her the job. So I told him, where do you want your sister to work? They are from Makodi. But he said, FMC Abuja. I said, draft a letter of employment for her. He drafted it. We came to the secret place. I said, Father, you say we should give her the job. I give her. We set it on fire. In less than three days, they called her for a job there. That's what we know. There is nothing else. But to talk to God and hear him respond from heaven. Please have a walk with God. That's what they call walk with God. That you have a reasonable, a pure walk with him. You can talk to him and he responds back. Not assuming that there is a God somewhere or just vibrating and doing some gymnastic in the Christian faith. A solid walk. There should be nothing you don't talk to God about. First. And see the way he will color and arrange your life. Lift up your hands and thank you for tonight. Give him praise. I know how to move the hand that moves this world. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Let's start producing results for our generation. Let's start giving our word testimonies. Let them not look like we are forced to believe him. Let our Christianity not end in false belief as if they force you and say just believe God. You know you need to follow God if not there's hell. No! We should be living proofs. I pray for you tonight. Upon your altar, let there be revival. Let fresh fire fall. Let fresh fire fall. That men ought always to pray and not to faint. The Amplified said and not to turn to cowards. It shocked me the day I saw it. Amplified said, men ought always to pray and not to turn to cowards. You take decisions, you can't believe yourself. You are wondering, am I the one acting like this and living life as if I don't carry the Holy Ghost again? It's because men ought always to pray. It's a reason. It's a reason. Those around me knows me. I pray sleeping, pray standing, pray talking. Any opportunity I have. We can be discussing now. You are done talking. I'm gone. I'm gone. It's my life. I pray for you. See, this rising and falling in the Christian rates. Say, I, I was hot today for God and nothing. No. See, that's why. Hear me. Hear me. No, I don't want to leave the meeting without sharing a tangible secret. Hear me. It is better not to pray at all than to be praying once in a black moon. You know, once in a black moon prayer, you pray today to the next two months. It will put you into more trouble than good. Even if it is five, five minutes daily, it's better to maintain it than 10 hours once in three months. That's why some of you that do like that, watch now. You find that out. The moment you pray, maybe they had one prayer, they organized one of you, and you pray seven hours stretch. It made you ask for that prayer. For the next three days, you are not yourself. Some of you will masturbate. I have had people come to tell me. I'm telling you what you are going through now. Some of you begin to feel sexual urge and all kinds of stupid things happening to you. And you are wondering, I just finished seven hours. You know why? In that seven hours, you jacked your spirit to a point. Now that you are done, your flesh wants to attain that height too. So it's better you just maintain. Have the consistency. That's why you fall and you are wondering. Not because you don't pray. 
but there's no consistency in what you are doing the way you, those that stay with me the way they are trained sometimes they are the one that wakes me now 5 a.m we are we are sleeping when did you come from class yesterday past two or three past three three a.m they came from school i opened the door for them 5 a.m he was the one that still woke me papa is now time we have to go and pray it will enter you i pray for you that same fire that same grace that same ability that rests upon men to be mighty in the place of prayer be released upon you now in the name of jesus let your heart has burn for god now let your heart has burn for god now i release fresh fire i release fresh fire i release fresh fire the grace for prayers the grace for supplication to as many that are hungry to as many that are saying lord i really want it all i want is this sustaining grace i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the son of the living god may that grace rest upon you now 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 in the name of jesus and whatever is a burden in your heart that you came into God's presence with tonight, in one minute, talk to him. Tell him about it. And say, Lord, this is why I came for service today. This is what I want you to do for me. This is what I want you to do for me. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this dusty of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me whole. I pray for you, whatever you have spoken to God about, may God give you answers. May answers come for you. May answers come for you over that body over that desire over that challenge over that situation i decree may answer come for you in the name of jesus i heard somebody spray a point say lord all i want is to live with a two one i heard it in my hearing that's what the person said so it was loud I, I pick point prayer points when people pray i can hear what you are saying i pray for you whatever your desire is i only said this to make you know that god has heard you whatever you have prayed for i decree and i declare may heaven respond to them may you receive answers from god may you receive answers from god in the name of jesus someone your own is finances you are saying lord bless me you are suffering lack heavily if i be called of god that the whole world might know again that there is a god that sits in heaven before the next service money you didn't expect money you can't explain money that will make you weep for joy is released for you now 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 in the name of jesus i am praying for everybody but i'm just speaking specific issues that i hear in my ears your own is a lecturer that is giving you headache the lecturer is not giving you you needed something from the person that is a correction or something but the person is not giving you attention now mark my word that i said this this week we are entering they will be telling you that the lecturer is looking for you you will look for him again he will be the one to begin to look for you in the name of jesus you came with a health challenge a health issue whatever it is i pray everyone lift up your hands as we pray in faith those you want god to touch you just place your hand on your head i decree right now in the name of jesus let your bodies be healed let your organs be healed let your blood be healed let your bones be healed every disease go now every disease get up now get up now get up now get up now in the name of jesus 
I pray in the sleep of the night, the visions of the day, in the best way you understand or even through people, the direction you need, the answers you need, the clarity you need, the solution you need, that encounter that will change your life entirely, I release it for you now. 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 And I boost your sensitivity to perceive it. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. I see God doing something now. Just clash the same as Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. Pray in the Holy Ghost now hear me finally i pray for you tonight i want to end the meeting but there are cases i need to deal with that's why you came anyone your foundation or background is fighting your destiny fighting your advancement fighting your success i release the angels of war and fire right now in the name of jesus every demon sponsoring wickedness in your bloodline holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost Holy Ghost, help them. Holy Ghost. 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 Anyone that is a witch or a wizard in your bloodline, marine powers, generational causes, patterns in the bloodline, Holy Ghost. Demonic manipulation, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, every demonic chain, every demonic seed around your destiny, around your family. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Thank you, our Father. Wave your hands and thank you. Celebrate Him. Celebrate Him. I won't have time to minister because we need to close but I'm seeing villages right now I'm taking in the spirit and I'm seeing angels in different villages I'm seeing a shrine on fire now I'm saying help them please help them I'm seeing a shrine on fire what I'm saying is in 72 hours that upper list is dead we 72 hours that strong man that strong woman that wish that wizard is dead in the name of jesus anyone tormenting your life anyone tormenting your family tormenting your health tormenting your academics tormenting your finances in 72 hours let the judgment of god visit them by fire let the judgment of god visit them by fire let the judgment of god visit them by fire thank him worship him give him praise I prayed for you for seven days stretch. I only came to release what I was doing in the secret on your behalf. Every shame you have borne, everything about your life and family you cannot say to people with joy. I decree and I declare that story is changed now. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord preserve you. You are going out and coming in. The Lord be gracious to you. And lift up the light of his countenance upon you. You won't suffer reproach. You won't suffer lack. You won't suffer accident. You will not suffer sickness. You can't suffer death. In the name of Jesus. I decree you will not suffer rejection. 
Everywhere you go, you'll be likable. Everywhere you go, you'll be likable. Everything that concerns you will carry favor. Everything that concerns you will carry favor. Everything that concerns you will carry favor. In the name of Jesus. I might not be able to vouch for many, but that you are in this meeting tonight, and I came to close up this period of waiting for me with you. I declare, and I declare, it is impossible for coronavirus to touch you. I decree by the atmosphere and the release of God upon this meeting tonight, you are spiritually immune. I decree you are spiritually immune. I decree you are spiritually immune. In the name of Jesus. Now, I hear God say something to me. He said the immunity they have released to receive tonight, tell them they can release it. You can look at your family and say, I give you immunity. You can look at your friends and say immunity. Your company say, I immune you people. It can't touch you. In the name of Jesus. And we join faith with every other church in the nations of the world, in Nigeria specifically, and we decree, let the death of this corona be announced. Let this disease outbreak come to an end. Let the plague cease. Let the plague cease. Let the angels of God be released now. In the name of Jesus.